So this is a Nexus 4, standard Nexus 4 um, phone. If I turn the, the screen on, I've just literally restarted my phone so you can see that there's no signal yet. We're also kind of underground as well, so hopefully I'll get some signal soon. Um, sliding out from the left edge, all the edges, as everybody has seen, um, a, a touch ready, uh, or edge ready, I guess you could say. Uh, we can see the home scope, we can slide to the right. Here you can see the application scope. And here we've got not only our list of installed apps, but we've also got these more suggestions. So we can see two rows here. If I, if I tap this, um, this shows all of the apps that are currently available in the, in the Ubuntu uh, App Store. These, these are apps that people have been working on um, as part of the App Showdown, for example. Uh, so for example, I can, I can tap one of these. We can see Far Plan. This is a, a Journey Planner Railway Timetable app. And you can look at some of the images. You can install it from there if you want. Um, so let me show you a couple of things. This is this version um, is obviously still in development. We've still got another month where we get into the bug fixing phase. So you're probably going to see a few little snafus here and there. But let me show you a couple of apps. So for example, we've got this Blackjack app. This is a good example of an app that's been in development from a member of our community as part of the showdown, so they used the SDK. This guy had never used the SDK before. It's got some music. So I can play the game. Drop some music down. Uh, I don't know how to play blackjack, so... Uh, hit. Hit. Oops. So anyway, you get an idea, and it's conversion as well. So, you, so this runs, this optimizes the interface based upon what kind of device you're running it on. Um, so let me uh, show, also show the bottom edge. So the bottom edge is where you can access functionality, so I can start a new game, for example. Um, the top edge, let's, let's go back. And then you can see we can, for example, set the settings. So I can turn the music off, because I don't like it. Anyway, let's go back here. You can see the applications running right there. I'm going to leave that running for a second. I'll show the calculator. So this is one of the core apps that, that the community have been working on. So we can do calculations. And then you can slide that up. And that creates a new calculation that we drag off. So let's load something else. So let's say, for example, the phone. So you'll notice that you see like a white screen. Uh, before the app loads. That's because this application lifecycle work that we're in the process of getting ready for landing hasn't landed yet, so apps load a lot quicker then. But you can obviously see the keypad here. We can see my, you know, my contacts. Um, this is a brand new phone that I've just installed Ubuntu on, so uh, I, don't have many I don't have my contacts synced yet. My call log, um, keypad. Um, let's have a look at some of the other apps as well. So for example, let's look at the calendar actually. So this is an app that's been in development from, again, one of the community core apps. Um, <clears throat> so we can see the months. And then we can go in, look at the week level. And then you can go in, look at the day level. So this is a really nice way of, you know, looking at your calendar, sliding out from the bottom. We can add a new event, for example. Uh, and if you want to multitask, we can slide out from the right. And you can see how fluid this is. It's really just a really nice, sleek, experience of, of, of opening up the apps. So another neat app here as well as the, uh, is the weather. Let me show you how to search. So if I tap the search box up here, I'm just going to do a search for weather. So this again is a community core app that's been, that's been in progress. So let's, uh, let's add a city. Uh, now I can search for a city, but let's just add, for example, Hamburg right now. Confirm that. What this is doing now, it's pulling data from, from the net. And you can see, see we've got Hamburg here. We can tap this, we can see the different, the different values. If I add another city, so let's say Cairo. You can see how the color changes based upon the temperature and the time of day as well. So we can look at Cairo, you can see, so you can see, can flip through the days. It's a re really neat little app and how it works. And again, it's got that consistent look and feel. So let's get rid of that. Um, so you can see we've got these apps open. And again, the phone is just not slowing down at all. In fact, I've, I've been in a position where I've run all of the apps on my phone and it's never slowed down. Um, let me see if there's anything else that's interesting. I'm not going to show you messages because there's a bunch of my friend's phone numbers in there. 
I'm pretty sure that they don't want emails. Uh, I don't, well, text messages. So this is the RSS Reader app that's been, again, a community core app as well. And this is a really neat looking app. Um, again, very organic looking. Looks kind of similar to the gallery. Uh, so if we can look at Engadget. So I'm just sat on the bus, sat on the train. I can look at an article. And you'll see how that looks kind of similar to the, to the gallery. Oh, actually, there's a bug there. I need to fix that. So let's look at the gallery. So these are pictures that are taken. As you can see, some pictures from last night when I was in. I was at a bar last night in New Orleans. It's part of LinuxCon. Um, you can see here that when I look at the picture, the um, the top edge of the screen it uses up the full screen. So it's all about content and access to content. Uh, but again, multitasking, really, really quick. If I want to, if I want to kill some of these apps, let me get rid of that. And I can just long tap, long press. And this is how I get rid of them. Um, now, one of the neat things that's loaded the calculator is the indicators at the top. Some of these are quite new since a lot of people have seen this. So I can, I can slide through these as beforehand. Um, but also, what I can do so we've got the location settings, Bluetooth, networks, battery, sound, date and time. Um, and if you want, so that's the most of your most common settings, but we, can, we also have our actual settings app as well. Let's see if I tap this. I'm going to do a search for settings. So these are the general settings that you can set for the, for the device. So for example, I can set my sound, so my ringtone. I can try these different sounds. So I'm going to set this back to phone incoming call. Um, so we're getting all of these finalized. We're actually just working with, um, with the guy who was working on Mass Effect, um, who's, who's doing the audio for that. He's actually sent over a couple of audio files already, and they're sounding really neat. Um, and that pretty much, pretty much shows you the Ubuntu phone.